Well, good evening, everyone. This is Judge James, alone as I am, uh, not expecting a lot of viewers live. This is something that sort of came out of the middle of nowhere. Well, maybe not nowhere. This has been a long time coming, but I thought that for tonight it made the most sense for just me to be by myself to talk through this, as this is a uh, discussion that's more something I'm doing, and while Judge Evie might be a part of this, whether or not she is a main participant, we'll see how, how, the, how the next uh, 14 or 15 months go. This is Living for Crits. Typically on Sundays, you would see me and my amazing uh, daughter, uh, Evie, sit here and talk about our week in gaming. As you can see from my hat, my shirt, some of the stuff behind me, we are crazy Dungeon Crawl Classics fans. I could say that since 2016, it has been the role-playing game I have played the most with at least, I don't know, 150, 200 games played over that point, over that time. Uh, I started playing DCC in 2014. I've talked about it on our show. I uh, am, had, was a co-host on Glowburn with uh, Mark Plord. I've, I talk about DCC whenever, and I felt like this weekend, after an awesome experience at Bride of Cyclops Con, I wanted to talk some more about DCC RPG. So let's get right to it. I am a fan of challenges. I love to, to see what I can do. Now, I'm not so crazy as David Blaine to want to, like, bury myself alive or ride in some balloons into the sky. I am not a physical specimen to do any of these amazing, extraordinary feats like that. But I do like gaming challenges. Back in 2014, I first experienced Dungeon Crawl Classics as part of QuattroCon Carnage, an experience that was an exploration of five characters as they progressed through four different RPG systems, one of which was Dungeon Crawl Classics. Between 2016 and 2019, my fanaticism for DCC really took root when I kicked off a monthly gaming group that was designed to experience everything that Purple Sorcerer had with the Sunken City Omnibus, and we went through the entire some sunken city omnibus on the great sunken city omnibus tour that would eventually lead to the purple planet and we went through the entirety of the peril of the purple planet box set and at, to date we even finished the add-on adventures and have one left to finish i think it's what sky masters of the purple planet so in 2020 in the midst of all this craziness i'm tackling more challenges i'm trying to set myself up with goals that you know, one can achieve and attain from inside the confines of the Walls Dungeon Tavern. And uh, one of which is I'm reading a lot right now. I'm reading at least one book per week. For instance, right now, I am reading Asunder, which is a Dragon Age novel. Yeah, these aren't exactly like super high works of fiction, but I love this kind of literature. I love uh, reading uh, fantasy novels, but I hadn't done so in so long. I've read The Princess Bride for the first time. I read more Lankmar. I read some of the Frostgrave novels. I read How to Write Adventure Modules They Don't Suck, finally. I've read some, some essays out of there about the whole thing. I read Your Best Game Ever by Monty Cook Games, a wonderful book, something I would say every new gamer should try to read. And uh, that has really helped me get through the pandemic because every day I have something to look forward to in my reading. I'm working on my video game completion list right now. I just finished uh, uh, Dragon Age Inquisition after four years a couple of nights ago. And my son and I completed Diablo 3. I finished Dragon Quest 9 finally, Final Fantasy 6. I don't know what's next, maybe Fire Emblem Three Houses, who knows? I have several games left to finish. Video games take a bit longer than a book. But I I wanted more, and I wanted something that was Dungeon Crawl Classics related. I was inspired by Bride of Cyclops Con and to do more with DCC and uh, connect that with one of my favorite movies of all time. 
And I know so many of you love to connect your DCC experience to fantastic works of sword and sorcery and, you know, Lord of the Rings. And if you are an apocalyptic fan, maybe it's uh, you, you want to attach it to, you know, uh, Mad Max uh, Fury Road or whatever, something, you know. Heck, even Forrest of Gary has his connection with wizards. I know so many of you love wizards. Well, I have a movie that I feel is a connection to the gaming world, at least in my own way. So I plan starting a challenge that I'm calling DCCJJJ. I want to thank Mark Plourd for helping with the acronym. So let's talk about one of the greatest movies of all time. Julie and Julia, starring Amy Adams, Meryl Streep, and the absolutely exquisite and majestic Stanley Tucci. Respect the Tooch. In this movie, Amy Adams uh, is Julie, and she sets out to prepare 524 recipes from Julia Childs, mastering the art of French cooking. Throughout the entirety of the movie, you watch Julie start experiencing these amazing dishes and have her own tale of growth as she blogs about it and discusses this with fans and becomes a better person even though she's a bumpy road along the way, especially when she tries to make Julia Child's own beef bourguignon, which I won't do because I'm a vegetarian. And I am required to tell you this because as a vegetarian, I have to let you know it's in the handbook. Well, I plan on doing the very same thing as Julie from Julie and Julia. So, but with Dungeon Crawl Classics. So welcome to Dungeon Crawl Classics, James and Julia Jam, DCC JJJ. I was gonna call it James, Julia and Julia, but I figured if for any reason this kind of blew up, which it won't, but it would if I did this, if I called it James, Julia and Julia, I'd somehow break some kind of, I don't know, law or something because, you know, intellectual property. Not that I'm, you know, monetized or anything on YouTube, I'm not. So behind me, behold, this is my stack of unfinished Dungeon Crawl Classics modules. They're unfinished, they're unplayed, and that is a damned shame. Now, look, I've stuff I've written myself for DCC, and I have run dozens of published modules. Um, I've said it many times, no one consistently produces as many high quality innovative and exciting published modules as Goodman Games does. It's one of the reasons why this game creates so many epic fans. We're all here for these incredible stories. And not just that, what DCC modules offer that so many published modules don't is a challenge. If you finish a Dungeon Crawl Classics module, you achieved something. Even if your characters died, you were going to accomplish something potentially that was something other some other characters die you know it's not a guarantee in a dcc module you're going to finish it so to finish these modules is a quest for me even as a judge which is a gm to those of you not in the dcc now but like so many of you, I have dozens, nearly three dozen adventures I haven't finished or played. And I have played dozens of adventures already. And I mostly GM, so I've GM dozens of published modules. Well, that's gonna change and that starts today. And I invite all of you to join me on this epic quest. Take whatever inspiration you had from this weekend and set off. So here are the ground rules. I have between now, and this is October 19th, 2020, and December 31st, 2021, I'm throwing my own gauntlet at myself to play through this entire stack of adventures. Now I can run them in regular games, in one shots, at conventions, or any other road crew offering. I already have one DCC Lankmar group that meets weekly, which is good. So I have a lot of DCC Lankmar adventures to go through. But I start I started a second DCC campaign that's gonna kick off mid-November to help me get through all of these. 
I will also be restoring a few previous groups to run special one shots. That purple planet group, we're going to come back and do Sky Masters of the Purple Planet because you need to. Uh, the uh, my X crawl group, we're going to come back and do some X crawl for three sessions to wrap up some of those, and be on the lookout for con for one shots and con games. You know, so I have essentially the the task of completing one adventure every 12 days and that's going to be hard because some of these adventures and i'm talking like moon slaves of the cannibal kingdom i'm talking the chain coffin these aren't exactly adventures you can complete in one sitting you gotta work at these adventures so i've got my 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 challenge ahead of me and uh let's see what we have to work through I thought it'd be fun to kind of go through this pile. Now, one adventure that's not over here, it's in a box, I'm not going to get it, is Sky Masters of the Purple Planet. For the DCC modules, uh, first off, I have to finish Abbot of the Woods, which is in the back of the, this is the fourth printing of uh, of, of DCC uh, 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 RPG. The, this is the fourth printing, so it's in here. So I got to finish that one. I have to finish uh, Escape from the, Cra the Shrouded Fen by Terry Olson. I have to finish The Old Gods Return, a holiday module by Michael Curtis. The Corpse That Love Built by Stephen Newton. Creep Scrag Creep by Spooky Stephen Newton. A Strange Night in the Pint and Pony, which is uh, it's a Studio 9 game, and they never... I wish, I wish C. Aaron Creator would put his name on the cover. He deserves it. He didn't. I have to finish this. That's a new acquisition. Neon Knights. I will be running this for sure at Spawn of Cyclops Con, which sounds like it's coming. Fate's Fell Hand. Uh, this is by Harley Stroh. Brendan LaSalle wrote Neon Knights. Twilight of the Solstice by Mark Bruner. The adventure that features scratch-off character sheets. I might be saving this one till Christmas 2021 when this pandemic hopefully is coming to a close. Colossus Arise by Harley Stroh. That'll be a good one. That's a level 8 adventure. 13 Skull by Joseph Goodman. Beyond the Black Gate by Harley Stroh. My, my White Whale, Moon Slaves of the Cannibal Kingdom. I tried running this game, which is amazing. It's by Edgar Johnson at least three times. But my groups before running it have petered off. The Sea Queen Escapes by Michael Curtis. I have five adventures left to finish in Chaos Rising, which is by a bunch of people. The One Who Watches by Be Watches by The One Who Watches from Below by Joe Bittman. The Last Will and Testament of Abadiah Faulkner by Stephen Newton. Again, more Stephen Newton love. This will also be probably a con adventure for 2021. Chain Coffin, Michael Curtis. I have explored the Shutter Mountains with a campaign before, running a lot of things within this setting, but never did the actual module. We're gonna do it. I've got some X Crawl here featuring the New Year's Evil. This one is by Brendan LaSalle. Also, Brendan LaSalle, we have got X Crawl Boston Crawl. X crawl, Anaheim crawl, and you, 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 last but not least, got some DCC Lankmar. Mary Michael Curtis with Unholy Nights and Lankmar, the holiday module, I believe from last year. Fences Fortuitous Folly by Daniel J. Bishop. The Rats of Ilthmar by Michael Curtis. Violence for Votishal by Terry Olson. Blasphemy and Larceny and Lankbar by my very good friend Bob Brinkman, who I really miss, but I'm not on Facebook anymore, and he's not much of a Twitter guy. But Bob, if you're watching this, dude, I miss you a lot. Acting Up in Lankbar by Michael Curtis. And Gang Lords of Lankmar by Harley Stroh, which I'm running right now. So this may be one of the first adventures I get through. This is going to be tough. This is going to be a challenge. This is a lot of adventures. This stack, I mean, let me just show you. This is like a third of a Calyx cube. You know, if you're talking an Ikea units of measurement. But I believe I can do it. I think that it could be hard. 
I think that there's going to be times that I feel overwhelmed. And probably at some point, I'm going to say, why the hell am I doing it? And you know what? Amy Adams and Julie and Julia did the same exact thing. She said these words, sort of, kind of. So, oh, reviews. That's the other cool thing. You know, so many folks, when I was doing the Thursday night reviews, was like, you need to review this, review that. I'm committed that I will do a vlog about each adventure I finish. Now, sometimes if I get two done at once, I'm going to cheat and do one vlog for both of them. But I will do a review of each adventure and my thoughts on each module as they are finished, not during. Don't want to give any spoilers away. And uh, they'll be similar in format to what I did my Thursday night reviews back when I did those. So if you want to see how this goes, you know, keep watching because it's going to be an interesting 2020 and 2021. So let's let's do this, okay? I, I think that I can do this. I think you guys can do this too, okay? I really do. So let's stop talking about our collections as these cool things we have on shelves just sitting there. And, I mean, and we keep amassing adventures. And I know you're running them, but you need to run more. So get some friends, you know? Go get some, make some new friends if you haven't already. You know, uh, take part in the DCC road crew break out of your groups if you're in a group that's only playing one game explore another group if you see me on twitter and i'm saying i'm looking for players for dcc jjj then jump in let's let's get some games going i will be trying to do as many as possible and let's let's get together in this challenge we can all do this i got some good comments on the side uh hector oh man hector the missile cruise is on and he said awesome and uh, he also said, that's a tonnage. Yeah, it's a lot. And uh, Evie's on. And Evie said, good luck, Father. I believe you can too. Aw. Judge Evie, always there to support, even if we're playing Fantasy Age right now in our game. So look, if you enjoy uh, the stuff we do, if you want to hear more about this challenge or just watch me fall on my face when I'm having a challenge with it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, just dust off those unplayed DCC and MCC modules and get playing. And, and if uh, you enjoyed this video and you enjoy this kind of challenge, please comment below or comment in future videos as to the adventures you're running or what you plan to do to do a little more DCC in 2020 and 2021. Have a great night. It was great chatting with you all, and I look forward to playing with more of you. Good night.